a flaw in the Kamakura shogunate had been that if a branch of the family line died out, in the case of the Minamoto, Yoritomo, his sons and grandsons, the shogunal succession would come to a grinding halt. It took Masako and the Hojo years to find somebody, in the end a great nephew of Yoritomo to succeed as shogun. The Tokugawa addressed this potential problem by creating sub-branches in Wakayama and Mito, away from Edo, at a safe distance. Both the Wakayama and Mito branches of the Tokugawa family were successful in their own right, especially Mito, where the Tokugawa lords like Mitsukuni and Nariaki outshone even the shoguns themselves as well remembered and highly regarded figures. Mitsukuni Tokugawa, also known as Mito Komon, the legendary lord of Mito. While the Tokugawa shoguns neglected Kamakura, the Tokugawa lord of Mito, Mitsukuni, was very fond of the place. And he would often come here to Zuisenji Temple, where he was patron. In 1328, shortly after the temple was founded, the first priest, the celebrated Muso Kokushi, caused a pavilion called Ichirante to be erected upon the summit of the hill in order to afford rest and appreciation of the landscape. Poets have compared this little structure to a miniature Elysium from which one could gaze down upon the vision of the world below. When in the course of time this fabric fell into ruins, a new structure was erected some 200 years ago by the enlightened scholar and philosopher Mitsukuni, Lord of Mito, who was also a constant visitor and patron of Zuisenji. This building was modelled upon the Chinese pavilion Suote, built by the Chinese Emperor Kiso of the Sung Dynasty. Mitsukuni wrote many historical documents regarding Kamakura, it was Mitsukuni who kept interest in the place alive. <laughs> 